Kevin Samuel says that high value men are allowed and expected to cheat on their wives if two consenting adults agree or if you give your wife hush money or shut up money. All right. What's the Bible say about marriage? And if you're who in the Bible was a non-Christian, they use the Bible to correct Christians. The devil, the devil used scripture to correct Christians on how they should be living. There is hypocrisy in what they are saying because they're telling people to live by biblical principles, women and men, but do they themselves live by biblical principles? All right, I'm gonna get right into the material. I keep getting sent videos and content by Kevin Samuels and Fresh and Fit from other Christians and unbelievers. And so I just wanna say, this material is devilish and demonic, and there are three points and three reasons why you have to repent if you are listening to this type of content, because it's not truth. And it starts with James 3, verse 14. But if you have bitter envy and strife in your hearts, glory and lie not against the truth. This wisdom descends not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish, for where envying and strife is, there is confusion in every evil work. But the wisdom that comes from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality, without hypocrisy. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make all right. So you can't take this material as truth because you have material that is truth, but it doesn't come from Jesus. Right. What it has is demonic influence. You have to ask who is empowering these people for this truth. Right. Because I can go to a palm reader, a witch doctor, a soothsayer, um, people that do horoscopes. And what they're going to tell me, they're going to tell me some truth. But you know what that has in it? It has leaven and it has a demonic influence and a demonic power. And so lastly, one of the biggest parts when you can spot between truth and error, it says that it is without partiality and without hypocrisy. So Fresh and Fit, Kevin Samuels, there's a million of these devils, right? Um, that are being empowered by principalities and powers. But you must know that there is hypocrisy in what they are saying because they're telling people to live by biblical principles, women and men, but do they themselves live by biblical principles? So three points in which we can test and see like, hey, are they living out what they preach? All right, number one, Kevin Samuel says that high value men are allowed and expected to cheat on their wives if two consenting adults agree or if you give your wife hush money or shut up money, all right? What's the Bible say about marriage and if you're allowed to cheat on your wife if you're a high value man who can afford it? Hebrews 13 and four, Hebrews 13 and four, marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. If you play around with God's children when it comes to little ones, or if you play around with marriage, God will send you to hell. That is instant. That's why he says the marriage bed is undefiled because he doesn't want you adding fornication, polygamy, divorce, um, weird occult practices into your marriage, like playing the whore. All right. So that's number one. Let's do number two. He said that he made his money or life changing money once he started doing deals in strip clubs, using escort strippers and prostitutes and advise men to do the same if you want to advance. What does the Bible have to say with this type of dealing? Psalms 101 verse three, I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hate the works of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave unto me. All right, so again, I wanted to get this point across about who is empowering these people for their platforms. And we see this with Luke, that the devil will offer people opportunities of money, wealth, power, fame, and all this stuff, but it's demonic and perverse in influence. And it says, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world, but lose his soul? So 
His platform was empowered by this wickedness in dark places, and it actually cleaved to him. And that's why it says the truth is first pure, right? It has to be undefiled. There is a wisdom that must come from the Holy Spirit. And then number three, last he says that high value men should buy or sleep with prostitutes, all right, or escorts. What does the Bible have to say about sleeping with prostitutes or escorts? 1 Corinthians 6, 15. Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Christ? Shall I then make the members of Christ and make them the members of an harlot? God forbid. What? Know ye not that which is joined to an harlot is one body? For two, saith he, shall be one flesh. So it says that no fornicator, no adulterer will enter into the kingdom of God, but they will have their portion in the lake of fire and sulfur. If you want to go to hell, get into <laughs> prostitution and witchcraft. All right. So this is one of the main reasons I didn't want to make this video, because you have to know that these people are under the power and the spirit of this world. There's going to be a million Fresh and Fits. There's going to be a million Kevin Samuels, right? Um, but if you just want someone to tell you like, hey, make your bed, dress nice, <laughs> work out, get a job, you can listen to someone like Jordan Peterson. And I do hate that Jordan Peterson happens to be the white guy and Kevin Samuels happens to be the black guy, but it is what it is. <laughs> but I will say this one thing because both of them do not submit to the lordship of Jesus Christ with Kevin Samuels not confessing himself to be a Christian, but has left the faith and left the church, no matter how the church may be, you can find one good church. <laughs> and um, Jordan Peterson being either an atheist or an agnostic and him not submitting to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. I have to submit to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Jordan Peterson, fresh and fit, Kevin Samuels, it does not matter. Every tongue will confess and every knee shall bow um, that Jesus is Lord, right? And so the reason I'm making this video is strictly because of Ephesians 5, verse 11. And in it, it says, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. And what it means is that you need to convict people, especially, you know, I love Kevin Samuels with the love of Christ or whatever is biblically mandated <laughs> for me. But uh, I'm not going to lie. This video is for Christians. It says that some have crept in unaware, ungodly men that pervert the gospel to these wicked things. People think that he is preaching gospel. This is not the gospel that I know. The gospel that I know is pure and gentle and peaceable and easy to be um, taken in and is merciful and have good fruits. And so if you want um, true gospel, when it comes to people being caught in sin, people being caught in fornication, sleeping outside of marriage and doing wickedness, go to the gospels of Jesus when he caught the woman in adultery in the very act. He said unto her, what? That I don't cast a stone at you. I don't accuse you. Go and sin no more, right? So Jesus wasn't playing around with sin. We're, we have to live by how the Bible instructs. And But if you see how the gospel comes, it's grace and truth. Grace to be empowered by your inward man with the spirit of God to overcome the works of darkness. Sin no more. And also when he caught the woman that um, was at the well, he said unto her, hey, go call your husband. And she said, I have no husband. This is true. Um, you have had seven husbands and the guy that you are shacking up with now is not your husband either. And so right there, uh, she said, I perceive you to be a prophet. And he said, you worship that which you do not know, but God will have us to worship him in spirit and in truth. And so this woman repented and she began to glorify God and began to evangelize to all her um, Samaritan people of like, hey, this is the Messiah we've been waiting on. And so that is truth. Truth points to Jesus. The spirit bears witness of himself. He says the Holy Spirit doesn't speak of his own self, but speaks of Jesus, right? And so if we want to measure truth, 
we had to repent. This video, I am telling you right now, it is what it is when it comes to salvation of other people. I don't want, like, if you did not know uh, what is coming into the church, you it says that we will have t um, harp up teachers, heap up teachers upon ourselves, having itching ears. People that are struggling with rejection, with brokenness, re rebellion, love Fresh and Fit, love Kevin Samuels, love this pain, pain, beget broken people, loving brokenness and wickedness, right? And we have to come against it with the truth, with the word of God. So right now, I just want to say, if you listen um, to Kevin Samuels and even Fresh and Fit or anybody else that likes them, that teaches from them, because... What I found with um, these men and these Christian men telling me, hey, listen to his stuff. When I listen to his stuff, I could recognize, oh, you listen to him a lot because you keep saying the same talking points that he says, right? And you have defiled yourself with the unrighteous works. It says, do not grieve the Holy Spirit by cleaving to these things. It's evil. It's wicked. And so um, I say in the name of Jesus Christ, that, yo, you need to repent, making sure there is no wickedness in you, making sure there is no hypocrisy in you. Because who in the Bible was a non-Christian, not filled with the Holy Spirit, but used the body, the used the Bible to correct Christians? The devil. The devil used scripture to correct Christians on how they should be living, trying to accuse Jesus himself, the word with the word. And so if you do not know the methodologies of the devil, if you don't know the patterns of the devil, if you don't know the wiles of the devil, you cannot combat against him. And so um, this is my prayer that number one, um, I love you. I love Kevin Samuels. I love Fresh and Fit with the love of God that you will repent. Um, Jesus Christ is Lord and confess with your mouth that God raised him from the dead and you will live it out according to the Bible. But also, if you as a Christian or a non-believer, I don't know how far this video is going to reach. If you have been intaking this poison, I'm telling you right now, there are demonic powers, unclean spirits, devils, and demons on the inside of you. You have been demonized just like Kevin Samuels has demonized himself fresh and fit because it says, yo, there are only two gods in this world. Um, the living God, Jesus Christ, the son of God or mammon. So it's like, Hey, what did he have to do to reach this platform, reach this type of exposure? Um, God is not promoting this type of wickedness, this type of witchcraft, the occult, what type of deals are happening. And so you have to repent because whatever you become subservient to, that is your lordship. And I don't want no type of portion in me that just like Kevin Samuels, it says, I put no wicked thing before my eyes that may not cleave to me. You don't want this type of demonic occult practice, witchcraft, rejection, um, rebellion cleaving to you because what does it make? It makes envy and, and strife and it only leads to hell. And so... Um, I say, and then um, just repeat after me, in the name of Jesus Christ, we're just going to pray because that's the most important part um, because we all have to repent. So Lord Jesus, uh, we repent in the name of Jesus Christ of any occult practices, any witchcraft, any soothsaying, any um, spirit of rebellion, any um, clean, unclean spirits that are on the inside of us right now when it comes to rejection and rebellion. Um, and any unclean spirits that I know or I do not know, Lord, we repent of it and we cast it out for it. We say the Lord God rebukes it in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, I thank you. I praise you for your children. I praise you for all those who are unbelievers and who are far off, that they will be constrained with the love of God, that Jesus, you will strengthen them in the inward man with might by the power of your spirit, that they will be overtaken with the Holy Spirit, being baptized by fire and being baptized with the Holy Spirit, God. We thank you, God, that we renounce everything that has been done in our past, any hurt, any harm, any danger, any trauma in the name of Jesus Christ, that we'll be free and liberated 
in any ways that we have defiled um, the marriage bed, any way that we have defiled in our mind, having doctrines of devils, Lord. And we do not submit to these things, but we submit to the word of God. And Lord, any ways that we have committed adultery, sex outside of marriage, fornication, any wickedness, not um, cleaving ourselves to the body, forsaking the gathering of the brethren, but being sheep astray, oh God. We thank you that you have said that heaven rejoices over one sheep that repenteth more than 99 just people, just persons, oh God. So Lord, we just pray that Kevin Samuels um, repents, fresh and fit repents, and any Christian that tries to get under this idolatry that says that um, you want us to be polygamous and have multiple wives and concubines, but you said that we should love our lot wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself to the church. There are not multiple churches, Lord. There is one church. And you said that for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife and the two shall become one. It doesn't say the two shall become three, multiple, any spirit of Islam, any occult practice. I come against it by the power of the Holy Spirit and the might of the blood in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I thank you uh, for watching um, this video. Make sure you get into a good Bible-believing church so you can be discipled. And if you want uh, more Bible studies with me, um, click the link in the bio in the description box or go to the blessingreport.com. It is free. And um, this is not a challenge, but it kind of is. Um, anybody that needs deliverance, including Fresh and Fit, um, Kevin Samuels, if you want to come to my church and receive um, deliverance, give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, or anybody that's listening to this video, any non believers, um, come to Resurrection House for All Nations. Um, we are in Atlanta, Georgia. Apparently, y'all are in Atlanta, Georgia also um, in Union City. Um, meet with us on Sunday. And also, if you want to watch the next video, because I am going to go over a Bible study of, hey, the way that we are dating um, with social media, using um, dating apps, or just dating overall in the American Western culture, it's very unbiblical because it's just leading to either marriage or divorce and rejection. Click this next video on the screen.